this is a free response problem number two from our test last Thursday and again it's one of these where students should have done better than they did I think this one here kind of threw a curve in its presentation that I want to address and if we back off to the principles of what is happening it shouldn't be too hard but let's look at this problem actually I had some students who did pretty well on A, B, and C, but Part D not as well, which is sketching the curve of the original. This is a, the graph of a derivative of a continuous function. So the answer is if we look at well, for what value f is increasing, we're not taking that into account. Well, f is going to be increasing between 2 and 4. By the way, we're, we're limited to 2 and 4 had people talk about less than zero and greater than four up to infinity. No, we're just interested between x equals zero and x equals four. So only the portions that we have a piecewise function here or it looks like a piecewise function, although it may not be. Anyway, uh, to make this problem work, we can examine what I've told my students a lot to do, which is to create a number line. So if we create a number line, I'm going to put number line below the original function right here and I'm going to put above we're going to put f prime of x and below we're going to put f of x so what is happening to our original function we'll look at what is happening to our original function for different values of f prime well our critical numbers here uh, the function changes between x equals uh, and x equals 2 from negative positive. So 2 is going to be a critical number, as is 3. So 2 and 3 are the critical numbers we have. 2, 3. All right. And to the left of 2, between 0 and 2, what is f prime of x? It is positive. So positive, the function is actually increasing. And so this is kind of counterintuitive because uh, from the graph of the derivative, the function is going downward, but really the slope is positive of the original function. Between 2 and 3, we are below the x-axis, negative, I mean decreasing. Function is decreasing where the f prime is negative, and to the right of 3, I'll put a negative sign, positive. So function increasing from 3 to 4. And so this really helps us understand our answers. Uh, for what values of x is f increasing? Well, increasing between uh, f is increasing on the interval 0 to 2. Union. I think one or two of my students for this, maybe three to four also, one or two of my students just got this right interval, three to four, kind of neglected this between zero and two. Okay, for what values of x does f have relative minimum value just by your answer? Well, if we look at our number line drawing down here, we see the function decreasing between 2 and 3, but then increasing after 3. So 3 is going to be our relative minimum. So we'll say, for what value of x? We'll say x equals 3. Why? Because f prime of x changes Let me write this down. Changes from negative to positive. All right. Now, this part C is a little trickier. Um, for what values of x does f have a relative maximum value? Justify your answer. Well, we change here, if we look at, at uh, 
our function is increasing between 0 and 2, and then at 2, we start decreasing. So our relative maximum is going to be x equals 2. And why? Because f prime of x changes from positive to negative. And we had some students who did pretty well in these parts A, A B, and C. Okay, part D. If f, if f of 1 equals 1, use your answers to A, B, and C to sketch the graph of f between, uh, let's see, what do they give between 0? No, between 1. x equals 1, x equals 4. Okay, so not the whole thing. I was looking at 0 earlier. Okay, let's do this. Make a make a little coordinate plane here. Okay, here's a coordinate plane. And I'm gonna just make it like this. And we're gonna have x equals one. Two, three, four, and x and y equals one, two, three, four, and down here, negative one, negative two. I think that should get it. Okay, the first point we have is the point one, comma one, right? Because if f of one equals one, so that is a point. That is the only point we're going to get from our original function. So I'm going to draw this point right here, f of 1 equals 1. That's the starting point on the interval that we're being asked to evaluate between 1 and 4. And what is our slope at... If we go, this is a, so if we go up to 2, what is our slope at x equals one well it's going to be about two and the slope is decreasing a little bit all the way to, to two but the slope is two and since the slope is decreasing this is going to be a concave down situation so if our slope to be two and our maximum is two we're going to hit about right here at 2 comma 3 or a little above 2 comma 3 and we have concave down so our, I'm going to draw some purple. our function is going to look something like this and it's concave function is concave down so it's bending slightly like this so that's slightly concave down I want to make it a little more exaggerated just to make it more clear that we are concave down So we're going something like this. All right. <clears throat> now, um, between 1 and 2, we are clearly concave down. Now, what happens at, at x equals 2? We have a decreasing function, and we go immediately from a slope of 2 to a slope of, looks like about negative 1. See, there's negative 1 over here. Our slope is negative 1 on this original. So we go down. Uh, our slope of negative 1 is going to look like this. It's going to be a sharp negative 1. And then the slope is going to get bigger until 3. And so our slope is, uh, excuse me, it's negative, but a smaller negative. So we're going to go something like this to x equals 3. Let me make that in blue. Make that point in blue. Make our curve in purple. So we're going to be going like this. Now look. We are, the, the slope 
f prime of x is increasing between negative 2 and 4, meaning we're going to be going concave up. Our, our relative minimum is at x equals 3, which is right here. See, x equals 3, we have relative minimum. x equals 2, we have relative maximum. We have all the way to 4, concave up. And so this would be a pretty reasonable sketch. The point of inflection is going to be at x equals 2, where the concavity changes from negative to the left of 2, positive to the right of 2. So this would be a possible sketch. So I'm going to try to get this one posted later this evening. Good luck. Stay warm during the Polar Express, and I thank you for viewing.